everyone, how's it going? What are you all been up to? Uh, well, I say all of you, not, I don't know, I ain't got many subscribers, but whoever's watching anyway. Uh, nice to get out on the bike, weather's okay. Cracking day, although I think it's going to rain later on today. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd come out for a little, uh, little jolly. See what's going on. Quite a few people about actually. Holiday makers, maybe. There's a massive uh, influx in traffic. Had a little ride up Yarmouth there on the seafront there. It's nice to see it coming back slowly. You know, it is good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so. You can see the sun coming out there. Lovely. Well, on another note, uh, I think the old um, MotoGP's back up and running. I think they're in Jerez, uh, Spain, which is good. I, you know, I, I follow. But I, don't, I, I enjoy watching it. I don't massively, massively follow it. Although last year I was in. Uh, Barcelona, the Catalan GP, that was good. Um, yeah, that was good. Bit of a funny one that one actually. So I think after, I think I'd come up with whether it was the first or second uh, lap. I can't remember. I think it was Lorenzo or whatever and, uh, took out quite a, quite a big bunch, you know, Rossi and what have you and couple of the others set up. I didn't go down very well. Yeah, I mean for me, I, I, it's just a good experience really to be fair. To get, you know, to get away you can go, go and watch uh, the GP in the sun. I mean I went, I've been to Silverstone, I'm trying to think when that was now, probably back in about 2000 and cool. 2008, 2009 maybe. Um, yeah, uh, pissed it down. Excuse my language, but it ch yeah, chucked it down all the uh, all weekend. But it was, a, it was a good weekend. We spent the whole weekend camping, which was good. <coughs> Quite a route. We were on the uh, on the noisy side of uh, the camping. We got like a quiet side, I think. In a, I forget what they call it now, but it's. Uh, Good. Made a change anyway. I go and watch the BSB quite a lot. Uh, yeah, again with that. I mean, I don't follow it. I, I enjoy watching it. Um, the local track for me, as you know, is uh, Snetterton. It's, it's probably about 45 minutes from here at the most on the bike. Um, well, where are we going to go? We'll go a different route here. We'll take a right here. It's a bit of a dodgy crossroads this one. Definitely a massive influx in traffic. Come on. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, about the uh, Snetterton. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll go and watch the, the British Superbikes at Snetterton whenever I can. It's only once a year, isn't it? But Brands Hatch, been the Brands Hatch, and uh, done the same like camping and what have you there. That's that's good. That's very good. That, I, I love Brands Hatch. That's my favourite. You know the the circuit there. What surprised me? I don't know. I mean, a lot of you probably been been, but the camber of the uh, the actual track is unreal. You know, it's quite a big circuit that one. I mean, if you're going to have a wander around on that and get on the intersection and go and have a look, cool. You need some. You, you end up with some pretty, pretty hefty calf muscles after walking around there for a couple of days. <laughs> I sleep well at night. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's good to see the old GP back back on. Hopefully, things will start improving now. 
Uh, I think there's one or two changes in, in MotoGP. I was, I was watching the testing. You see, they're all they're all wearing masks. They're all you know. They're all uh, obviously been told you know they're st strictly to wear your masks all the while and that, which they they, they seem to be. Uh, I know it's one of the commentators got told off for not wearing it, so he <laughs> he put it on. But yeah, I think that's just just you know where we are at the moment it's just uh, the, the state of the times at the moment funny old times let's take a left here it's a lovely lovely area around here lovely area uh, we've got the broads Norfolk broads absolutely lovely um, very nice you can hire like hire a boat out here for the day which I do in the summer <coughs> I think they've actually started uh, you know they're, they're slowly opening up again now which is which is good so yeah it's nice to hire a boat out I've hired one out from there uh, Phoenix is it Phoenix fleet uh, there. Actually, I've, I've hired one out a couple of times. The first time we hired out this, well, I turned up like off the cuff really and just sort of said, have you got any any boats available? I mean, it was busy. It was the middle of the summer. This was last year. He said, well, the only one I've got is a de this diesel. He said, but that's, that's a bit noisy. <laughs> and that smoke a bit. And I'll tell you what, that was noisy weren't the word for it. That <laughs> was absolutely unbelievable. Got some people here. Yeah, and then you've got uh, Latham's. There's a lovely hot dog stall there. I often stop there. Lovely. Latham's there. It's very busy. Very busy. It's good to see people coming out and about, but I don't know if they're going to, uh, you know, stick to the old uh, legs. I don't know. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, about the day boat. So I hired out this day boat. And that was the noisiest thing you could ever imagine. Smoky, noisy. It was good. We had a good laugh. It was fast, though. It was ever so fast. A uh, couple of times we, we, you know, we got told off. We actually got stopped, stopped by the broads. There's like a broads police, you know. Well, not police, but they're kind of looking out, you know. He stopped us. Said, "Oh, slow down." <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can actually from from there. If you you know, we we, uh, we went out from there. We went as far as I think we went to Hornin and uh, stopped off in Hornin and had something to eat. Uh, quite nice. Had a you know had a had a glass of coke, shandy. Um, yeah, it's a lovely lovely day, but. I think that uh, the second time when we hired, we uh, we hired an electric one, a uh, battery powered thing. That was that was good. Ever so quiet, ever so peaceful. And uh, see the see the uh, you know lots of wildlife and that. If you're into that sort of thing, it's just peaceful. It's just relaxing. <coughs> it's nice. But yeah, I think I'll be doing that again this summer. Or a boat out. I mean, look at these fields, look. You know, look at the scenery, lovely. Nice roads out here as well. We're coming into uh, Ludham. Makes a change actually to come out this way. So here we are, Ludham. Nice little village. Nice and peaceful, some lovely houses as well. We need to slow down a bit. Um, a few people out on the bikes today. Um, yeah, nice little pub there, King's Arms. A few people out there that things are springing back to life, aren't they? Definitely.
another little pub up here. What's the funny old name actually this one. <laughs> the Dog Inn I think, the Dog Inn. Dog Inn car park maybe. I don't know if I'm only joking. The Dog Inn, nice little campsite. You've got to stay there and have a few beers and pitch up your tent. Coming over Ludden Bridge here. I think you can hire out canoes from here as well. Launch a canoe. We're going over the board here now. Yeah, you can hire a canoe out. Uh, done that before. That's good. I'd like to borrow another canoe. It's always one of those things, you know, where you you end up, you think, oh, I don't really use it, I'll sell it. But at the end of the day, I, yeah, yeah, it's one of those things you regret selling. I often think to myself, God, I'd love to go out and have a nice little paddle about on the broads. Because the, the broads are literally on my doorstep. You know, they're, they're literally five minutes from my house. So we're quite fortunate, really. We're quite, quite, quite lucky. You know, same as the the beach and that. 15 minutes from the beach, but it's that old, same old thing really, because I live so close to the beach. You don't tend to go down there. I'll go down there, but it's not like, you know, your holiday makers would come down lay on the beach. Yeah. Where are we now then? I think we're coming into Horning, yeah. Have a little look down Horning. That's lovely. Some lovely properties in Horning. We've also got, uh, I think it's disused now, but you've got RAF Meters Head. I think it's like a communications, uh, you know, military communications uh, zone, you know. I think it's closed now, but. Around here, some lovely roads up here. Got the nationals, lovely. All right, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know what else to sort of rattle on about without boring you. I don't know. Uh, hope you're you're enjoying the videos. You know, it's just. Uh, nice to go out on the bike and just talk about stuff in general because that nice to have you know clear your mind when you come out on the bike a bit so uh that is, that is good but yeah things in general motor gp's back on which i'm happy about oh i've got another track day booked uh next month same again snetterton again i'd like to do a different one somewhere else maybe brands Hatch, that'd be good Horning, here we are. Right, well, let's have a little look at Horning. I'll say some beautiful riverside properties. The, I mean, not these ones. They're not on the, not by the river, but some lovely properties still, nevertheless. Right, where's the turn in? I don't think that's this one. I think it's the next one. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, we have to need his head. Radar Museum now. Not going to go down there because the, the roads aren't very good, I don't think. It's accessible, but... Oh, so let's have a look down here. It's probably going to be quite busy again down here. Yeah. Uh, some lovely places by the, the river. I mean, you're not going to see the broad, really. You're just going to see the... You know, the, the back of the houses, well, I say the back of the houses, the back of the houses probably are on the broads as such, but yeah. some of them look. The Swan Inn, nice little pub there. Had a few beers there in my time. So, yeah, the broad is here, it's to the right of me here, so. 
there you go, yeah, that. that's Horn and Broad. Um, this is actually, like I was saying earlier, this is where we, we came and moored up after we hired that boat out and had something to eat up here. It's called the Ferry Boat Inn, which is just a bit further up here. But yeah, all of these properties here, or most of them, back onto the broad, so some of them are absolutely lovely. And you don't really notice that until you, uh, like I say, you hire the boat out and, uh, yeah, you know, nice Porsche there, like that. Uh, yeah, there's a fair bit of money around here. A lot of holiday lets as well. Loads of holiday lets. Um, I mean, look at some of these here. That, that's so difficult to see from from this side, but <coughs> lovely. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll hire, like I say, in the summer I'll hire a boat and I'll get some footage from the other side on the boat. That would be interesting maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> Depends what you're into. Uh, let's have a look. I think that's uh, just down here actually. Ferry boat in. Very bumpy along here. Very bumpy. Thatch cot, thatch uh, roofing. Plenty of that. Yeah, there we go, it's down here. Down this one. Oh, it's bumpy. Bloody great speed bumps as well. End up ripping the bottom off the bike. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Just to show you a bit of uh, horning. I say I normally come down here in the car, not the bike. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Oh, I'm the wrong sort of bike for this road, that's for sure. And plenty of gravel as well. Bloody hell. Whoop! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh. Yeah, a lot of these down here are holiday lets. I don't know what they charge, I mean, obviously all different, but I bet they're not cheap. I bet they're not cheap at all. That's the ferry in. Let's stop here. It's nice to sit by the river up here in the summer. You can, like I say, hire the boat more up here and uh, grab yourself a bite to eat. Sit outside there. Get some good food as well. Get some lovely food. Let's have a look up here. They're quite good. Them little inflatable, uh, what do you call them? Little inflatable uh, canoes. But you can see it's quite busy. Yeah. A couple of people sitting in their car with masks on. I don't know what they're trying to achieve, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, absolutely lovely. All right. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of uh, stag weekends and hen weekends. They, they hire boats out, they end up all over the boards, but... It's all part of the fun. It's all part of the fun. Right, and that's Horning, the ferry in. So, oh, I'll try and get out of here without sliding over and there's lots of gravel. Oh, oh. There we go, we're off. Yeah, not, it's nice to have some good weather. Nice to have some good weather. out of here without bloody uh. oh. I mean this this bike is very uh 
I don't know, it's very, it's very user friendly, I mean there's no, it's, no, it's just about manage this sort of thing. Uh, that's what I like about it, you can, you can do 150, 60 mile an hour, whatever you dare do on the track. Or you can pedal around you know, a little broadside village like this, doing 20 mile an hour, well less, you know, <laughs> nothing, next to nothing. Which is what I like about it. It's one of the reasons why I chose it, you know, because I, I watch loads of reviews and, you, you know, you... Oh, size of this speed bump here. Oh, shit. So I say how diverse it is and I end up scuffing it up. Um, <laughs> right, anyway. Yeah, it's not the reason why I chose it. So I had the 600 before. Uh, I don't know if you've seen me in any of the other videos, but yeah, as I said then, and I got on so well with that, and I thought to myself, what, you know, that sort of done everything at the time, and then they brought this bike out. And like, you watch reviews and everything like, you know, test ride, and I just couldn't really sort of make, you know, choose, choose anything else. I test rode some other bikes. I mean, there's no, no saying that I won't ever change it, or not ever change it, but, you know, in the future. Who knows? Who knows? But at the moment I'm quite happy. It's got brilliant electronics on here as well. I'm pretty sure they've saved my bacon a couple of times. I know I don't go crazy by far. I really don't. I'm all about safe riding, you know, and uh, that sort of thing. Thank you. But I'm sure it has saved my bacon a couple of times. And the traction control. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure about you know some of the you have that set up. You, you know, if you had that on 10 now, not so it's on two at the moment, as you can see there. If you have that on 10, it's just cutting in constantly. I don't, I don't quite know how that works really, but I'm, not, I'm sure the rear wheel's not slipping. It's just you know governing your power so um, you know so much. So yeah, this anyway, this is Hornin. It's a very nice uh, broad village. So if you ever come this way, definitely, definitely play, play you know, play a visit. Uh, here comes that lovely Porsche again. Oh on, matey. That's probably his pride and joy that. It's ever so immaculate. Cheers, mate. Sounds nice as well. Sounds lovely. So yeah, you've got little calves here, even a little post office there, traditional post office. Uh, yeah, a few little shops, gift shops and that, coffee shops, little restaurant there, seafood restaurant by the look of it. So yeah, that's Horning. A little bit further along you've got uh, rocks and but I'm not going to go there today. Save that for another day. Um, it's a lovely little uh, rocks and a little town I believe. Rocks and uh, it's not so, uh, I'm not sure. Mm. Alright, we're going to go back this way. Back in uh, Potter Hyam. Yeah, all that talk about uh, all the, looking at all those restaurants and what have you, and all the ferry boat in food, and thinking about that, it's making me feel bloody hungry now. I'll tell you, they do a lovely steak in there. And well, they did last year anyway. Nice sirloin. Makes me feel hungry. Makes me feel hungry. It's not the same. You go to the supermarket and buy a piece of steak. You never really know what you're getting. Uh, yeah, if you ever here, get yourself a bank, a, um, 
a hot dog. Absolutely lovely. Lovely. But yeah, with the old steak, you never really know what you're getting. I like to go to the butchers, really. Yeah. Do some lovely chips there. There's a chippy there. Lovely chips. Um, yeah, I might have to buy myself a nice steak anyway. So this is uh, Rollsby. We've got um, a nice little um, venue there. It's called the Boat House down there. It's lovely. Um, that's by the river. They do weddings there as well. Obviously, all that's been put on hold for the time being. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely, um, lovely, lovely uh, place to sit by the river in the summer. Just going to take a turn off to the left here. Go and try and see. Well, I want to go and buy a steak. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Bit of a shortcut. Again, there's some lovely property up here. A lot, you know, a lot, a lot of land on that. Makes you wonder what these people do for a living. Farmhouses. Nice public footpaths as well. Fence again for a wander. There's the old farmer getting my steak ready. <laughs> uh, I think there's some llamas down here. Pretty sure there's some llamas. Where are they in there? There they are in there. <laughs> Funny old things, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it's gone dark. Oh, I love that exhaust. That Yoshimura R11. It weren't cheap, but it's definitely worth, worth you know, putting on. Sounds lovely. Sounds good on the track. When you get them old revs up, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, you get a lot of dog walkers through here. It's coming out the other side now. Nice little shortcut, that. <clears throat> open to get myself a nice uh, piece of meat. Hopefully it's open. Twenty mile an hour. Almost seems too slow. Here we have it. Hurst's farm shop. Topside joint sirloin or <sighs> pork sausages, shoulder joints. Mm. Let's go and have a look. Oh, <sighs> I'm going to take the old helmet off. Oh. oh, I've got my steak. Look at that. Lovely. I'll be having that tonight. Anyway, hope you've uh, enjoyed a little ride out. I've got my steaks, so I'm looking forward to cooking that. Uh, yeah, it's been nice. Take care, speak to you soon.